All right, how you doing today? Today we're taking a look at a Vocal Chain plugin here. Very cool plugin, very simple to use. From uh, Greg Wells, he's a songwriter, producer, mixer, worked with Adele, Dua Lipa, Taylor Swift stuff, Roman Republic, all kind of stuff. Anyways, this plugin is basically his signal chain that he came up with over like 15 years. He decided, oh, we should make this a plugin. Basically, it's two compressors and EQ. Everything's under the hood. You don't even know what's going on. You have one knob that you turn and some of the things turn off at certain points of the plugin. Some of them turn on when you get to 80%, 60% of the knob. Then we have delays, reverb, and a doubler effect as well. So let's just check it out. I'll shut up and quit talking about it. You can check it out. There'll be a link in the video description below. Usually Waves has some pretty good deals or by, by Waves as well. And he also has a bunch of other plugins, like a whole set of these like one knob kind of plugins were really cool. You can check those out as well. So in this video, I want to use it with by itself. And then I'm also going to use it with the Studio Verse plugin. So to add even more things to it, let's just check it out. Anyways, here we go. All right, so I have this song loaded up here right now. Vocals, I'll bypass it, soloed vocals. We wrestled for reality as you twisted facts. Nothing. Okay, now I'll turn it on. And then I'll just put the intensity here. And then we have an input knob, an output knob. And you kind of want to adjust your input to so this little thing here. It gets into the yellow, but not red. I mean, you could push it past the red, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, let me turn this doubler off there. And then we have our delay, our doubler, and reverb. Let's check it out. We wrestled for reality as you twisted facts. Nothing left to see here. There's no going back. All that pushing and a shoving, sabotaging the trust. Only truth left is this. So we got compression going on. We got EQ going on. The way he, he explained it is there's two uh, compressions in here and an and EQ. And things get turned off and on and, and adjusted, obviously, in the background because we have one knob here. It's designed to be very simple and get professional results very quickly. There are some presets, but you you know there's not that many knobs on here, but you can check those out. So let's test out the delay. Let me play it in the track first too. So before. Okay, on. All right, and there are harmony vocals on there as well, which I do have that plug in. Let me mute the harmonies for now, because I do have the plug in on those as well. Now, let's check out some delay here. This could get from anything off, turn it on here. We wrestled for reality as you twisted facts. Nothing left to see here, there's no going back. All that pushing and a shoving, sabotaging the trust. Only truth left is there's no more us. No more. No more. All right, as you can see there, you get very drastic with it. Now, I believe there's a high cut and a low cut in the in this uh, built into the delay. So you're getting the kind of the mid delays here, which is cool. We wrestled for reality as you twisted facts. Nothing. All right, let's check out the doubler here. We'll go from zero to 100. We wrestled for reality as you twisted facts. Nothing left to see here. There's no going back. All that pushing and a shoving, sabotaging the trust. Only truth left. We wrestled for reality as you twisted facts. Nothing left to see here. There's no going back. Oh. So you get a nice doubler. It's not very, really, you know, something maybe not used on everything, but you know, maybe on different parts of the song. I don't use doublers all the time. I rarely use doublers actually. But let's see here. We got the reverb, and we'll test that one out. Then we'll blend them together. We'll check it out. We wrestled for reality as you twisted facts. Nothing left to see here. There's no going back. 
All that pushing and shoving, sabotaging the trust. Only truth left is. So you could get pretty extreme too. That's not going to be useful for this song, but maybe something. Um, and then we have, like I said, we go through some of these presets. Um, just a lead vocal sound, real quick. We wrestled for reality as you twisted facts. Nothing left to see here. There's no going back. All that pushing and shoving, sabotaging the trust. Only truth left is there's no more. No more. No more. No more. Now, we have it on the harmony vocals here as well. No more. We wrestled for reality as you twisted facts. Nothing left to see here. There's no going back. All that pushing and shoving, sabotaging the trust. Only truth left is there's no more us. No more. No more. So you could have hours of fun messing around with this. Not really hours, it's really quick to get a vocal track going. All right, so let's test this out on some male vocals. Just wanted to show you that because it is for any genre of music, female, male, doesn't matter. There's no genre specific for these kind of plugins or settings, I guess I should say. Signal chains, if you will. Anyways, bypassed. Never gonna let you go. Turn it on. Never gonna let you go. So we got the doubler on the reverb. Do more intensity. Never gonna let you go. That's all I need to know. Never let you go. Ooh, ooh. Never gonna let you go. 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 Just keep adding a little more intensity each time or whatever you want to do here. Let's hear the doubler. Never gonna let you go. Try it in the mix. Never gonna let you go. You're all I need, that's all I need. So there you go. Really nice on those ad-lib kind of vocals as well there. And another cool thing that I forgot to mention is uh, that you can automate this. So like in maybe in the verses, you have this much intensity and then kind of dial it up a little further into the choruses or pre-chorus and slam it all the way to the chorus, whatever. Now, depending on, you know, the, the genre of music, the instrumentation, like if this was a heavy rock band, lots of guitars, a lot of distortion going on, you know, it's gonna be different. Probably more intensity in the vocals would help out more so than just kind of sound like this. So that's something to consider as well. Now let's take a look at it in the studio verse atmosphere, if you will. So with studio verse, uh, you can get different patches of complete rigs of effects and signal chains, if you will, online in the community. And I have some down, I'm gonna to have some as well, so you can check my link for mine. But anyways, this is when I downloaded with the, the vocal plugin already installed, if you will, and we could create our own too. Now this one has another EQ here before it, it has a de-esser before it, and it has the RVAX compressor before it. Now right now, and then you have your microcontrols over here, so let's do this real quick. I have these turned off. 
So we'll see what these do. Turn the deesser off. Um, and right now, this is the only plugin that I have on. So here's the before and after with this plugin. Still, different part of the song as well. No more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more stirring up emotions, no more meltdowns, no more saying that you want to when you know. So let's see what this EQ is doing here. We're going to add the ESSER, and then that's controlled by this. We have our other compressor controlled by this knob here, this one here. Let's check it out. No more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more stirring up emotions, no more meltdowns, no more saying that you want to when you know it's a lie, no more questioning my answers, no more wondering why. And turn those ones off, just the Greg Wells plugin. No more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more stirring up emotions, no more meltdowns, no more saying that you want to when you know it's a lie, no more question. So basically we're just doing some pre-EQing here, maybe clean up the vocal a little bit if needed, and then there's some low shape here, and we got the mud here, and we got the top end knob here. As you can see in the plugin, it's doing those micro controls. So this is when you want to get even more advanced and go crazier with it. Obviously, you can just use this plugin as it is, all good to go. Um, you might also want to change, just you know, bypass the delay and reverbs and put them on a, a bus, which most producers do. But this is a good way to, to not do that too, um, if you don't need to, and you just have a, you know, maybe you're just doing, maybe you have a, uh, what's it called, backing track. And that's all you have and you have the vocal track you just want to put some stuff on there real quick get it going um so super cool plugin um studio verse is super cool as well i mean you could just keep creating stuff here i could put a uh parallel splits and then i could just go in here and maybe i want a different kind of delay than the ones that's in the plugin just for you know whatever reason uh and then we got that there, and then we could send it to this send, and it's all in the same patch as well. Actually, what I want to do is put this over here, so we have our <laughs> parallel. And yeah, so you can get pretty crazy with it. Um, I'm, I'll do. I have another video on the Studio Verse plugins and stuff as well, like that. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. And you know, this is like super cool. Maybe you want to add some saturation. Abbey Road saturation or something. And we can do that before the eccentric plug-in somewhere along here. No more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more stirring up emotions, no more meltdowns, no more saying that you want to when you know it's a lie, no more questioning my answers, no more wondering why. Push the signal like that. Get out of hand with it, if you will. Just hours of endless fun. Yep, indeed. Let's see here. Vocal ad libs. Load this patch up. So here we have the centric, vocal centric plugin. What else we got on this chain here? EQ. This is from the same guy. So he puts the same things in here. DS, sir. Another RVox. And then we got the retro fi afterwards. So here's how we do this one. Let's see what this sounds like. No more twisting all my words. No more pushing me down. No more stirring up emotions. No more meltdown. No more saying that you want to when you know it's a lie. No, no. So essentially, it's the same thing as he had before. He just added the retro on here for some uh, crazy effects. I wonder if there's any micro controls for that one. Doesn't look like it. Oh, lo-fi shape. Here we go. Let's see. 
No more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more serving. All right, so we could just come in here and go crazy with it. No more twisting all my words, no more pushing me down, no more serving up emotions, no more meltdown. You want to when you know it's a lie No more questioning my answers No more wondering why All right, so there you go. Very cool plugin. Great for your vocal tracks. Let me know what you think. Put your comments down below. Any questions as well. I have a bunch of other videos in my back catalog. So if you want to check out, subscribe to the channel, please do so. Uh, yeah, and that is all for now. And I will talk to you soon.